Hey all, I'm here with a new RC vehicle and a new class of vehicle altogether. It is the Blade 230S, a version two. Uh, this is obviously a helicopter um, and it is built as kind of a, a good helicopter for both beginner and intermediate flyers. I'm a beginner flyer. I actually have previously owned a Blade helicopter about a decade ago, but the uh, technology has really changed quite a bit. Um, and this is a much more agile helicopter and ideally a better one to fly as well because it has safe technology which has kind of a gyroscope built in uh, to help stabilize the helicopter in flight. So I'm just going to show you a couple of things. Truth is I can't show you much today because I don't have a second person to be filming and it's nearly impossible to fly a helicopter without two hands. Um, I have kind of done that with my planes occasionally but with a helicopter, you, you kind of have to have both your hands on the sticks at all times. I actually invested a new radio. Um, this is a, a Spectrum DX6. It's a pro programmable computerized radio, so you can see it has that screen on it. And, and actually right there, it shows that it's programmed with the Blade 230 SV2's profile, which is a really, really neat feature. Um, to do that, you actually just plug in an SD card. Actually, I think I have it in here, let's see. See that? Um, that is a memory card, and I plugged it in my computer, downloaded the profiles, and then plugged it into my remote, and it, it pulled that off. Um, this is a really cool radio. Uh, they also make a slightly uh, lower cost version called the DX6E, which is actually newer, uh, but doesn't have voice commands. This one has voice commands, which, let's see if I can enable that, if you can hear it. So it just said hold mode, which actually I should, probably should have been in this whole time. And then normal mode, normal mode means the motor is at, um, is uh, ready and powered up. Hold mode. I'll put it back in hold mode there. Um, it also has this really handy countdown timer, um, which you can set to a maximum so you know when you're back, you know, how, how long your throttle's actually been on. It's not just how long the radio's been on, um, but how long you've actually had your throttle up, um, which indicates that you're actually using a significant amount of battery power. Um, this is actually particularly good for planes where you do a lot of gliding, and so you actually can really extend your, uh, your flight time with a plane by gliding and cutting off the throttle. With a helicopter, you cannot cut the throttle. So there's really, it's, it's pretty much, you've got seven minutes of flight time, period. Um, and that's my estimate based on running my 800 mAh battery in here a couple of times. So I'm just gonna actually show you how to take off um, like I said, I can't do too much with one hand. Uh, it, 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 helicopters are a handful, of, as I've realized. Um, they are actually quite a bit harder than flying planes, in my opinion, um, because they can't glide, they can't float. You are in control of it all the time, and if you miss a step, well, they come crashing down to earth. Um, another thing is that they're very, very uh, responsive, which is what makes helicopters so neat. I'm just going to throttle up a little bit here so you can see it. Um, but it also means like you can get disoriented really, really quickly. Uh, I find I get disoriented with this quite a bit faster than with my planes because within a split second it can be facing a different direction or turned around altogether. So I'm just going to try to take off here with one hand. Uh, if it doesn't work, I'm just going to bring it back down. So there it goes, it tends to glide, it pull a little bit to the left, so I'm going to have to bring it back down. That funny buzzing sound is actually the rear stabilizer rotor. Okay, I've cut it off. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take it up and I'm going to come back. Um, it, it needs to be get stabilized in the air before I can actually film, so I'll be back in a second. There it is right in front of me. It's coming toward me. Watch out. So here's the blade up in the air. I am flying with one hand, which means I can't do much, but I'm mostly showing you how it hovers. Um, you really are constantly having to adjust throttle because it doesn't really just hover. Okay, this is not a drone. If you wanted something really simple that kind of flies itself, then you buy a drone. A helicopter is really something that is kind of a hobby level product. It is not easy to pick up. 
Um, you need a really big space, especially to learn it. Um, I'm out in a huge baseball field and I feel pretty comfortable here. Uh, the biggest enemy to helicopter is the ground. Uh, you know, obviously trees are also a problem, but you're more likely to hit the ground with a helicopter. So I'm going to take it down here. Slowly. It, it actually lands pretty well. There we go. Pretty easy. Just throttle down and it lands and the safe technology keeps it level, which is nice. So I'm going to cut the motor. And just uh, so you can see, this is actually a pretty small uh, aircraft. Um, so I'll just hold it out here so you can see like, you know, the fuselage is about the size of my hand. So it's not a big thing. It's very, very portable. Um, meaning you can kind of take it anywhere, but like I said, you want a big open field. I'm at a very big open uh, baseball field, and that gave me a lot of room to, for error, frankly, okay, because I'm new to helicopters, um, or at least these new modern helicopters, uh, and they're very, very responsive and very quick, and they can get out of your control pretty quickly as well uh, for a beginner. Um, again, I am a beginner. I've flown planes uh, for about a year, and I got comfortable with that and I wanted to try something new and this is definitely something new. Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty neat. I love the technology here, um, but definitely there's a lot for me to learn. Uh, but I'm already feeling better after, this is my third flight actually, uh, so already feeling more comfortable with it and I could see it really being a, a lot of fun down the line. So I just wanted to kind of introduce people to this new kind of uh, another side of the hobby, another side of tech. Um, this is again the Blade uh, 230S version 2 and I am controlling it with the Spectrum DX6 controller and I do highly recommend a computerized controller. I was considering um, pairing this with my DXE which is not computerized, doesn't have a screen, but there's a lot of settings, uh, presets that come in the profile for a helicopter that you would just miss out on. Uh, if you had something that wasn't programmable. This is about 230 and the DX6E is I think 170. That's the, the version of this without the voice and without a couple of other features. Um, and then the blade itself is, I believe it's $215. And then you need a battery and I'm using a Gens Ace in here. I'll show you how this cover pops off. It uses these press fit rubber gaskets kind of that come off. Here's the uh, battery I'm using. It gives me about eight minutes of run time. This is a Gens Ace. I really like Gens Ace. I've used Gens Ace for my, um, for my ground vehicles um, and I trust them. So uh, that was actually only about 15 bucks. So of course you also need a charger for it and there's all sorts of different levels of chargers. I like um, the uh, Pro 2 Duo from Venom. But there's the inside. You can see there's kind of a lot going on uh, with the way this works. I'll show you kind of Pretty, pretty neat stuff. So there is the Blade 230 V2, an introduction to helicopters for the RC enthusiast who's never tried one before. All right, I will catch you next time.